some of the things that happened to you in your earlier life. Mm -hmm. I read someplace that you never decorated your cell when you were in jail. No, not in seven and a half years, never. And the reason was, was that um, uh, going into prison uh, the last time I went and having somewhat of a political conscience, I, um, I, I looked around at all the other inmates, and, and, and inmates can make their cells look like great hotel suites. Mm -hmm. through cardboard and towels and, and things. But it was also a way of conditioning yourself to that life. Mm -hmm. And I always adapted to prison life and never tried, and never, never was conditioned by it. The guys who, who conditioned themselves to it all, always will be the guys who return. Mm -hmm. The recidivism rate, because they function well in prison. Yeah. You know, they have better decorated cells and they have apartments you know, yeah. in the street. And yeah. so then, so it's a, it's, it's a tough thing because the moment you adapt to prison life, you know, you, you're, you're in odds with the prison administration and the rest of the inmates. But uh, I always kept it the same drab, gray, concrete floor that it was. And guys would walk by my cell and, hey, man, you do something with that crib of yours, you know? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. But, uh, you know, I, I always left it undecorated, you know? Maybe I should backtrack a little bit. When the audience gets too silent, yeah, I know I, I, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I miss... They're probably... Some people probably haven't seen you interviewed before, and they're like, mm -hmm. I thought that was the guy from Rock. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, honey, where's the exit? Uh, you know, um, you, you just very quickly, you got in yeah. a fight a long time ago. And, well, I spent... Um, uh, well, I went to reform school as a kid from around 12 years old to 15. And then, uh, 17 years old, I got in a fight with a guy. Um, uh, he nearly killed me. I killed him. Uh, I got sentenced to five years. I got out in two. Uh, I stayed out a couple of months, went back in for possession of deadly weapons. A uh, three-year sentence, and while I was doing the three years, I got, a fight, got in a fight with a correctional officer in the prison and got an additional eight years tacked on to the three. And so uh, I did seven and a half uh, uh, years on the last time in one of the toughest prisons in the country, in Maryland State Penitentiary. And uh, I rediscovered myself in prison. You know, I... I... <laughs> Someone, but just have a nice cell. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, now, on his resume, is it like actor slash murderer? Hey, hey, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, he's a very good guy. Oh my! Hey, so, wait a second. No. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Something happened with your appendix. Yes. Well, what yes, happened? it's going to burst out of fear right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you have a diaper on, I hope. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, he played a parrot in just, a recent... Just don't get him angry. <laughs> <laughs> just smile at him. <laughs> <laughs> don't make any sudden moves, whatever you do. Ask him about I... the, the parrot. He plays a parrot. He might have gotten bitten by a parrot once. <laughs> Leave it alone. No, yes. tell me. Tell me about the parrot. Uh, oh, I do the voice of a parrot in a Walt Disney film called Aladdin. Mm -hmm. Do you like Disney? I'll change it to another studio. <laughs> <if you don't. laughs> I'm working for Disney now. Oh, you are? Oh, good. Oh, that's the only studio I work for. <laughs> For Disney, <laughs> I did an HBO uh, yeah, I didn't special. Say I like Disney, though. Oh, oh, oh! I don't either. <laughs> I hate him. I'm glad he's frozen in a block of ice. <laughs> <laughs> Gilbert, where were you doing the riots? What? Oh, yes. I was actually... I'm sorry. I was actually came out here and did a Howie Mandel special. 
Sats, uh, I'll tell you something. I didn't want to get killed, but the chance to work with Howie Mandel. <laughs> it's worth risking your life for. <laughs> Just, is he, is he smiling? Yes, he's smiling. Yeah, okay. He's a very yeah. nice man. Yeah. You don't understand, this is a very nice man who got into trouble because of yeah. a self-defense situation. I believe you. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Have you ever been in a fight? What? Have you ever been... Stop screaming at me. Have you ever been in a fight? Yeah, I once killed a man. It's no. a whole other story. You really? see, we, we're both kind of... <laughs> no, I mean, really. At some point in your life, I'm sure you've had a fight after school or something. Yes, yes, but I beat her up. <laughs> oh, hey, do you mind? <laughs> Would you rather... You can boo me, just don't do it to him, because... <laughs> Would you rather take on those 300 or Rock? Uh, I'll, I'll have them all kill me after the show. <laughs> I'd rather have a truck run over my head. <laughs> okay, I'll tell you what. We're yes? going to take a commercial, and we're going to... Wait a minute, I don't know if I want to go off the air. <laughs> Okay, we talked about your appendix coming out. Yes. Are you still on medication? Uh, no, no. Well, are you are not on any kind of medication, are you? <laughs> and you're basically calm, right? <laughs> That's good. Give him a carton of cigarettes, please. <laughs> Gilbert! You, you don't find me attractive, do you? <laughs> You just killed me. <laughs> well, did you meet yes. any, any nice nurses? What? Uh, no. No. Hi. Uh, no, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm very sick. I'm very sick, and I'm weak, and I bleed easily. See, I can always get them on the sympathy thing. Uh-huh, yeah, yes. yeah. Um, Let's see, we should talk a little bit about your career. No, let's talk yes. about comedy. Okay, let's we talk about Jerry, comedy. We had Jerry Lewis here recently, oh, and yeah? I know he's your idol. Yeah, yeah, he's my idol. You're what not... else do you want to talk? Do you like Jerry Lewis? Oh, I love Jerry Oh, so do I. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you have a picture of Jerry Lewis near your bed or something? Oh, yeah, yes, yes, and I use it every night. <laughs> yes, I'm very lonely. Oh, all right, it was one more masturbation joke. <laughs> and off your show, too. What? My whole crowd is from France tonight. Oh, they are? And... Oh, they don't do it over there. No. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, they love Jerry. Oh, I'm sorry, yes. But uh, they, they also like Mickey Rock, so, I mean... <laughs> do the French really like Mickey Rock? No. no. Sorry, I asked. <laughs> oh, God. So who did you vote for on the Elvis stamp? <laughs> Priscilla. I think it would be a lot more fun to lick, but... You're you trying to do that to a Jew like I have any rhythm. Okay. See, you do something about licking Priscilla Presley, you can get the French back on your side. I'm considered a genius now in France. Okay, okay. Just shows uh, what they like. <laughs> Masturbation, not so much, but licking Priscilla Presley. <laughs> okay, before... And for 29 cents. <laughs> the style. I hope you didn't pay for that haircut.